What's up everybody? I have been really excited to start using my bow that I'm gonna be using for bow fishing and I made the first steps in making that possible. I took it to a bow shop. I wanted to see what the poundage was for the draw and then I also needed to change the draw length. So my typical draw length for shooting a bow for archery hunting is 24 and a half inches. In a bow fishing situation, and just a reminder you guys, like I'm totally new to this, so if I say something wrong, like asking for advice, correct me, I'm totally new to bow fishing. But in a bow fishing scenario, so like when I'm bow hunting, I'm using a wrist release. I clip it on to the release, I draw back, and then I push the trigger with my finger, and the arrow releases. In a bow fishing situation where I could be on a boat on land, in freshwater, in saltwater, I don't imagine using a release is a good idea. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I will use my fingers. So because of that, I went from 24 and a half inches to 24 inches because everything's gonna be a little bit tighter. I'm not gonna be using that wrist release. So I set it at 24 inches. And then originally I was gonna set it at 40 pounds for the draw length. To give you an idea, when I'm bow hunting, the max I can do because of neck injuries that I have is 50 pounds, which is plenty, you know, to kill a deer, elk, whatever, especially if you practice your shot and are ethical with like what yardage you should shoot at, which I really am nerdy about that and I'm very careful. So long story short, I actually decided to just bring it to 30 pounds because I'm like, what am I primarily going to be bow fishing for? Really in the beginning, I think mainly carp and I'm not going after giant, giant carp. And typically I feel like, you know, there's no limits on carp. They're trash fish. I want to be doing this in like Powell primarily. So I imagine bow fishing carp, there's going to be a lot of drawing back and a lot of repetition and a lot of that all day long because there's no limit and because you can get as many as you want. So I ended up saying, you know what? There's no reason to have it 40 pounds. I don't need 40 pounds to kill a fish. Let's just say 30 pounds so that it's really easy and really enjoyable out on the boat all day. So the draw length is at 24 inches. The draw weight is at 30 pounds. I've never released any arrows in it. I'm gonna do that for the first time now. Now, ideally, I think what I wanna do is be able to switch this bow back and forth, be able to use it for target practice in my backyard, and then be able to use it for bow fishing. Both are great. I could even use it in hunting situations if I get good enough with it. You know, I'd probably keep the poundage low and just use it for small game and all that. Um, but that being said, I'm just gonna go take my first ever shots with it. Never shot it. I just wanna see what it feels like. I'm excited. So since I do have a bow fishing setup, I'm actually not going to use that now. I want to do more research and maybe you guys know. What would you do for like a sight on a bow fishing bow? I imagine you just take it off. It's all instinct, right? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to use the arrows from my other hunting bow that I've used for the past 10 years. They're custom arrows that I build. Um, I'm going to take the reel off the stabilizer and just use the stabilizer. We don't need a quiver. That's it. We're just going to literally see how it feels and see what we think about it. So this is how easy it is to take the reel off the stabilizer. I literally, this screws on right here. I literally just took it off and then screwed the stabilizer in. That is what I like about this setup is the ease of going back and forth if you want to. Um, I still have to put this on this. This will go right here. These screws will go right here, that'll connect here, and then the stabilizer connects on the other end. I'm really, really excited. So I just wanna say like one last cool thing is when I did take this setup to the bow shop, um, the guy there who was super knowledgeable about bow fishing was like, you got the best setup ever. So this was coming from someone who bow fishes a lot. So just keep that in mind. If you do wanna get this exact setup that I have for bow fishing or hunting, you can literally use them for both at the same time. It's from Pyramid Air. I do have a discount code with them and I'll, I'll put their information in the description box. I decided we better feed the pony. Cause it's a madhouse of chickens. Oh yes, oh yes. So I get the um, 
arrow in the release. And the kitties follow me everywhere I go. Everywhere, huh, Martha? Martha, 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 Martha. All right, so I had to constantly switch up where I was shooting because I have so many animals here. It'd be better to do this at the ranch where I don't have things that I could hit. You guys know I have a ton of chickens and cats here. Um, but overall, I would say it went well. I'm definitely shooting lower than I expected. Um, this arrow's probably much heavier, I would assume, because it has an insert. Um, than what my bow fishing arrow would be. So I think next time that I do this, I'm gonna rig apart the bow fishing arrow so that I can shoot it without like a killer head on it, if that makes sense. And um, let's see. So I'm gonna do that so that I'm shooting the actual bow fishing arrow. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and sight it. Like maybe I'll, I'll have to think about, what do you think yardage wise my my most popular bow fishing shot from the boat would be at the carp at Lake Powell. I'm curious what you guys think. I'll set that top pin to it and then I'll just practice and practice and practice with it because I'm gonna have to learn refraction. There's so many new things that I'm gonna have to learn but that's what makes it fun. Like learning new things is way fun so I'm excited but overall I'd say it went well. I was just shooting it into hay bales and then I have a deer target over there so I've been moving around shooting it at different hay bales and it was always consistently lower than what I was aiming. Bow's not sighted so no worries one step at a time. It's just barely getting warmer. Bow fishing is like literally right around the corner like I could potentially go in March like next month like tomorrow. <laughs> So overall, I honestly am really impressed with the bow. I'm glad I set the poundage low, super easy and fun to pull back. It won't get old, it won't get tiring on my arms. The cats loved it. <laughs> the horse loved it. It was a great time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I asked you guys so many questions. If anyone has insight from the bow fishing world, please comment. I really appreciate it. It's not often that I ask you guys for advice and it's kind of fun being in this situation where I'm seeking it and learning new things. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and we will see you on the next video.